<sighs> yes, here we are, yet again, because no matter how frustrated I get or how many tantrums I have, people who are given one job, just one tiny little minuscule job, are still managing to get it wrong in the most infuriating ways possible. From, oh god, I don't want to look, this to, oh... Uh, Come with me, and let's indulge in a collective mental breakdown as we take a look at even more idiots who had one job and still managed to screw it up. They say when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. But when this store gives you lemons, apparently you should make orange juice. I can't tell you how fascinated I am by whoever made this sign. Truly. Just, it's just incredible. Maybe whoever did this thinks all citrus fruits are the same. And if they do, maybe it also explains this travesty. Why would you... Look, the fix is simple. Just put the lime juice in the lime juice box and the lemon juice in the lemon juice box. I want to say... Maybe someone had a hard time reading the labels, but you don't even need to be able to read it. It has a picture of a lime and a lemon on each box. A toddler could figure this out. Okay, okay. Deep breath. Deep breath. Some people just find colors and words confusing. Yeah, I get that. Like whoever put these onions and potatoes out into these bins. Yeah, yeah, I can see what's happened here. They've put the darker colored potatoes into the darker colored bin and the lighter colored onions into the lighter colored bin. At no point has it occurred to them that vegetables aren't just vegetables based on their color. Hence why these are now in the wrong bins despite there being really clear images on the sides of each container. Oh, I dread to think what the rest of the store looks like. Have you ever fired a gun? Well, despite what it looks like in the movies, it's pretty difficult to hit a target you're aiming for without practice. That's why shooting ranges exist. Here you can hone your shot on targets in different situations. Like this one, for example, which is just a regular dude out in the open who's totally exposed. For something a bit more difficult, there's this hostage situation. Obviously, you're meant to avoid the innocent hostage and train your shots on the gunman, like this lady from the... Weibo military blog, The Red Knight, has done. That's a lot of headshots. Not as many as her friend here, except, um, do you want to tell her, or should I? Yeah, that's, uh, that's the hostage's head and neck and chest. So if ever you're taken hostage and you see this woman coming to your rescue, you might actually be safer off staying with the gunman. Did you know you need an accreditation to design a playground? Like, you can't just rock up to a plot of land, slap in a slide and a jungle gym and call it a day. As a child of the 80s, this is news to me. No, today, kids' playgrounds have to be checked and vetted seriously so that sociopaths and people that clearly hate kids don't go about creating spaces like this. I'm sorry, did Pennywise the Clown design this playground? The slide ends right at the manhole. Well, enjoy the ride all the way down to the underground, little Jimmy. I hear all the kids float down there. Luckily, it looks like this is just a product of Photoshop. At least I think it is. I can't quite tell. Can you? Let me know down in the comments. Not to toot my own horn, but uh, I'm pretty good at parking. Some people just have a knack for finding the perfect spot, which is more than can be said for others, like this bozo. Yep, that's a car parked in a space that's now trapped by a lot of fresh concrete. Did this guy not get the memo about moving his car before these works began, or was this space really too good to give up? Well, when this incident happened in the Polish province of Lodz, fault wasn't with the driver as much as it was with the municipal police. Before the work commenced, instead of towing the car when they couldn't find the driver, Apparently, the police left a ticket under the car's wiper, and then just gave the construction crews the all-clear to start. Wow. Who knew it could take more than one idiot to screw up a single task? 
The UK is a big fan of road markings. Red lines, yellow lines, double yellow lines. They just can't get enough. Although I think this guy might have had enough. Looks like a road painter either decided to carry on his road paint job up the side of this car, or this guy was parked where he shouldn't have been, and the road painter just decided to teach him a lesson. Either way, I think the message is pretty clear. Uh, you can't park there, sir. I order a lot of stuff from Amazon.com, and I gotta say, some of their packaging policies confuse me. You know what I mean, right? Receiving huge boxes and masses of packaging protection for the tiniest items imaginable. It's just unhinged. However, Reddit user Queen Fairy Farts <laughs> may have received the most brain dead delivery Amazon has ever packed. They received one massive cardboard box that contained their order of one regular cardboard box. At this point, the system is so broken, I don't think we can fix it. Just, just send it back. Now, I love me a good bargain. If I see a big red sale sign, then I'm immediately going to track down the largest price reduction possible. 20% off, 10% off, heck, I'll even take 5% off. But, uh, 0%? That's not, that's not a sale price, that's just regular price. Hang on, let me make sure that my math is right here. $19.99 reduced to $19.99 is a reduction of 0%. Well, I'm not sure who okayed this, but a dark part of me wants to grow a terrible bob haircut and has to speak to the manager. Have you ever gotten something extra with a fast food order that you weren't expecting? Maybe an extra chicken nugget in your box or a bunch of sauces that you didn't ask for? Well, it's nice to get a little extras, unless that little extra is an entire utensil baked into your food. Yeah, the pizza place responsible for this order left their pizza cutter in this pie. And yes, pizza, by the American definition, is a pie, so less of the snarky comments below. You'd think it would have been easy enough just to look at the pizza before boxing it up to check it's good to go, but no, once again, I've put way too much faith in humanity. Do you know the band Men Without Hats? No? Well, perhaps you know their worldwide hit, The Safety Dance. Yeah, what a tune. A tune I can't actually play here because I'll get copyright struck in an instant, but hey, take my word for it, it's a classic. Personally, I'm a really big fan of their name, and their logo backs it up. Big no-hat energy right there. Only problem is, if you go over to their Wikipedia page, the only image of men without hats is of men with hats. To be fair, if I looked that cool in a cowboy hat, I'd be tempted to break my band's entire identity too. Have you ever heard of a dead man's curve? In American racing, it usually refers to a bend in a road that's particularly dangerous. Because of how deadly they can be, some race event organizers mark them out with signs. Although this company decided to go with a giant inflatable ape. Gotta say, it looks pretty cool. That is, until you look up at the ape's face. Now, something tells me that's not where his eyes are meant to be. Either I've missed something key about ape anatomy, and apes do, in fact, have eyes where their eyebrows usually are, or this ape has seen some stuff. Okay, riddle me this. You have a house with a door that requires stairs to access it. Because you're a normal, rational human being, you'd put that door by the stairs, wouldn't you? That's not even hard to understand, that's just logic. So tell me please, what in tarnation is happening here? Surely whoever was installing this door realized something was wrong before they were attaching the door to its hinges, because I can't think of any reason why they'd want it like this. Can you? Now let me know down in the comments below. A job doesn't need to be messed up badly for it to get under my skin. It just needs to be messed up, obviously. Like this decking, for example. Looking at the corner closest to us, everything clearly starts off fine. But the further away we look, the more my bones start to itch. Either the slats here are too wide to fit with the slats laid there, or there's too much of a gap. But then, if you could see this happening, why not relay them? Why settle for this? Why must you fuel my rage instead? 
God, if I'd done this to my house, I think I'd just give up and move. You know what you can never go wrong with? Pizza. Good old reliable pizza. It's always the same shape, usually the same standard toppings, and while delivery places might vary in quality, it usually arrives in one piece as it's not that hard to transport. I say that, and yet, this. Look upon this pizza, ye mighty, and despair. Either the delivery driver was taking some turns so hard the toppings slid off the top of this pie, or he decided to transport it lengthwise like a sadist. Okay, that's not fair. Maybe he tripped. Maybe someone at the delivery place dropped it. Maybe. No. No. No amount of excuses will make me feel at peace with this. Okay, so we can't trust pizza. What about a different fast food, like tacos? Easy enough to assemble, fill the crunchy shell with meat, veg, cheese, and voila. What could be more simple? Sounds impossible to get this bra- Oh, oh, I spoke too soon. Whoever made this taco loaded everything into the taco holder instead of the shell and just called it a day. No, my sweet summer child, no. The fillings go in the shell. That's why they're called fillings. Now maybe I put too much faith in humanity. Maybe we need to go even simpler, like with a hamburger. It's just bread, meat, sauce, and a bun. America does it best with their many fast food chains like Wendy's, serving all kinds of burgers morning, noon, and night. They clearly know what they're doing. There's no way anything could go... You've got to be kidding me. How, how do you forget the hamburger? Did none of the workers at any point, just from prep to packing, go, hmm, this sandwich feels a bit light, almost like it's just bread and sauce. No one? No one? Car passengers etiquette is super important. In my car, if you're riding up front, your job is to pick good tunes, feed the driver snacks, and not be annoying. Pretty simple stuff. Maybe they don't have these rules of etiquette in the UK, because one passenger in a car in London decided this was acceptable behavior. Anyone else feel their anxiety levels spike? Okay, well, I'm not super sure what's happened here. It looks like someone has installed the cup holders in this car vertically on the dashboard for God knows what reason, and the passenger has assumed that they can still use it like normal. Can, uh... Can someone British let me know down in the comments that this is some sort of design mistake with the car, that most of you don't actually store your drinks like this? Please? You ever look at something that's slightly wrong and it gives you instant anxiety? Like this guy's precariously placed water glass, or this fork that looks like it's going to be very sticky, or this bridge of imminent doom. Okay, one of these might not have been as slight as the others. This is the AC-14 highway in Spain, which has an elevated section that back in 2016, someone on Twitter noticed did not look, uh, central. Now, I'm no engineer, but even to me, it doesn't look right. Now, luckily, the Spanish authorities were very active on Twitter and quickly responded that, Unbelievably, they designed it that way. Yeah, apparently it was to accommodate the road's expansion to include a third lane in the future. Looking at the elevated section from a different angle, you can sort of see the design intention. Even so, I don't think I'll be driving around Spain anytime soon, purely to keep my anxiety at bay. You got a bike? Do you like to go fast on your bike? Hey, of course you do. There's nothing like flying along with the wind in your hair. Of course, unless you were cycling along this bike path. I'm not sure who to blame here. The person who decided that a bike path could definitely be laid here despite the trees, or the person who agreed to lay the path here and not cut the trees down. Unless this was a purposeful design choice made by one guy, but... Surely no one is that smooth-brained, right? Right? Why don't I feel hopeful about this? If there's one thing I think you all know I love, it's stock images. Oh boy, without stock images, 99% of my videos would just be awkward shots of me talking to the camera. And trust me, no one wants that face reveal. But hey, what I love most about them is how some companies edit stock images to put their own products in a scene and end up creating something insane. 
For example, we have a father and son playing chess. Oh, so sweet, so wholesome. Except over on eBay, some random company has inserted their own chess board in place of the stock one, which is the wrong orientation and both kings and queens are swapped around. Suddenly I want to flip that board right into that kid's face. If you're a healthy adult, then there's something you can do that can make a huge difference to a lot of people and for free. And that's donate blood. It's a crucial process for saving lives. So much so that mobile donation units exist in the forms of vans and trucks. You can tell what they are because they'll usually have big signs that say, Donate Bloob on the side. Yes, Donate Bloob. Did I stutter? Well, if it's not Donate Bloob, why does it say Donate Bloob on the side of this donation van in LA, huh? Now, I guess it could be a typo, but it's hardly like the wording would have been printed directly onto this side. Could it be Photoshop? Please, God, just let it be Photoshop. Otherwise, I gotta figure out what bloob is and how do I donate it? Well, if it's not Photoshop, then it might be a case of someone getting trigger happy with the bees, as they seem to have struck this truck stop in America. Or should I say truck stop? The rogue bee strikes again. I don't know what it is about putting a B on the end of a word that makes it instantly hilarious, but it does. Stob. Stop it. <laughs> oh, so dumb. Now, if you spend a lot of time at your computer, you might have one of those supportive mouse pads with a plush wrist support at the base. You can even get ones with cute designs that complement the support section, like cartoon corgi butts or cute cat feet. Or if you're a degenerate like me, you might have one with a, uh, well, let's call it questionable anime design. Yeah, use your brain and you know exactly why I chose this. And I'm not the only one. Plenty of people order mouse mats like these, though sometimes what they get is uh, not what they paid for. Yeah, unless this guy wanted to rest his wrist on two bulging anime eyes. I have a feeling whoever printed this accidentally flipped the pad the wrong way round during production. Either that, or he genuinely wanted to rest his wrist on some big, squishy eyes. Ugh. Capri Suns are a god-tier snack pack food. The perfect pouch comes with one sealed plastic straw and is full of just enough juice to satisfy anyone. Oh, sorry, did I say one sealed plastic straw? Sorry, I meant to say ten. 10 plastic straws for one drink pouch. Either someone's taking the term sharing is caring to a whole new extreme, or the quality control guy at the factory making these briefly forgot how to count. Ah, uh, Christmas in Florida is a really special time of year. Instead of snowmen, Floridians make sandmen. They dress up their local gators in little Santa outfits, and they hang their stockings under the palm trees. Okay, some of those might be too weird even for Florida, but they do wrap lights around their palm trees to make them look really pretty. Or really unfortunate. Did they have to use the red for the base? It's very suggestive. Although some of the others in all white lights don't look much better. Florida knows that the holiday carol is deck the halls, don't they? Not, uh, well, you know. And, and you know what, never mind. When it comes to parking a car, I don't like to toot my own horn, but uh, I'm pretty good. Parallel parking, angle parking, perpendicular parking, I'm all over it. And what's my secret? I always check the angle of approach is clear, especially when I'm reversing in. Like, it's simple. Anyone with a driving license can do it. You just need to open your eyes because otherwise things like this can happen. Holy heck. That Aston Martin DBS got a brand new paint job because someone reversed over a can of emulsion paint without looking where they were going. My god, how can you be reversing near a car that expensive and not use your eyes? Luckily it wasn't gloss paint, so it washed out soon after. Still, next time you're given the job of reversing next to an expensive car, do as I taught you and use your eyes. Now, speaking of using your eyes, the blind community doesn't really have it easy. Luckily, places like the Center for the Blind in Israel exist. Nonprofit organizations dedicating to making life a little bit harder for those without sight. Wait, did I just 
Did I just say a little harder? Sorry, I meant downright impossible. Why? Well, take a look at the building sign and, again, zoom in. Yep, yep, that's a good 12 feet off the ground and with absolutely no way to reach it, we have the sign in Braille format. Ah, yes, Braille, the language famously best enjoyed when out of touch from everyone. Now, in case you missed it, I was being facetious. Who thought having the Braille version of the sign where it's functionally useless was a good idea? Admit it, you love CCTV. You may not love being captured by it, but you love watching unsuspecting moments caught on camera as much as the next YouTube addict. So, I think we can all agree that this, this is a major oversight. Neither this camera has a full 360 degree range of motion allowing it to be remotely moved to see everything, even the wall it's attached to, or someone's installed it the wrong way round. Considering the only one end of the camera has the telltale lens, I find the latter really, really hard to believe. By the way, ain't no one getting away with any crime in this general area. What's the difference between podiatry and chiropody? That sounds like the setup to a bad joke, but the answer is, there isn't one. Both podiatrists and chiropodists are experts in foot health, and are usually the people you'll be referred to by doctors for foot issues, like Lushington Chiropractics in Eastbourne, UK. They can fix almost any foot problem, just take a look at their sign. Um. I don't, uh, I don't quite know what's wrong with this foot, but something tells me they're going to need a more than a uh, massage to fix it. How are their toenails on the underside of the foot? And why would you use this image of all the feet pics to try to drum up business? My feet could be in the worst pain of their life, and I'd still run the other direction if I saw this sign. Alrighty, let's play an age-old game of pigeon or penguin. You know, it's a classic game. I show you a picture, you tell me if it's a pigeon or a penguin. Super simple. So, pigeon or penguin? Yeah, that's a pigeon. Okay, how about this? Pigeon or penguin? Yep, penguin. And finally, this. Pigeon or penguin? Yeah, pigeon. Now you see how easy it was to tell them apart? So, so easy. Well, the person that printed this picture of a penguin in a book that is labeled a pigeon clearly didn't think so. I wonder if they skimmed the word pigeon and read it as penguin. They didn't double check before sending it off to the printers. Man, I hope this isn't a school book, otherwise those kids are going to be real bad at playing pigeon or penguin. Hey man, do you have the time? Oh, you don't? No worries. Uh, we can just check the giant clock in Vienna Central Station. Ah, almost 3 o'clock. Looks like I have plenty of time before my 9 p.m. train. Hang on. I've just noticed that the station's name is backwards through the glass, and that clock is on the glass. Wait, do you mean to tell me that someone thought it was a good idea to put a huge, numberless, analog clock on a glass wall and assume everyone would know that it could only be read from the outside? What time is it at? Oh, God, 9.10? Well, I've missed my train. Thanks, Vienna. Thanks a lot. I have no problem admitting I am awful at DIY which is why I usually hire a professional to do the jobs I have no idea how to begin. There's no shame in it, mainly because I'm safe in the knowledge that I'll never accidentally install a toilet in my shower, like this guy did. Unless this was a design choice, in which case I hate to ask, but does this guy know you can already pee in the shower? Okay, gates. What, um, what are gates? Sorry, I'm just struggling to figure out how someone could mess up a gate. All it needs to do is sufficiently block the way and have a set of hinges so it can unblock the way. Simple. So simple. It doesn't even really need to be a full door, just a few bars welded together in a sturdy frame to prevent people from getting past is, you know, enough. Oh my god. How... How did whoever designed this not see that including a huge hole as part of this apple would render the rest of the gate completely pointless? Initially, I thought this must be a public access gate, one that's made for aesthetic over function. But, you know, if that's the case, why is there a lock on that handle? Yeah, I, I give up. 
much like this designer clearly did. Ah, breakfast, the most important meal of the day. What do you usually have? A big bowl of cereal, a few slices of toast, maybe some fruit and yogurt? Perhaps a healthy serving of bleach? Maybe some Pop-Tarts or... Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Bleach? Bleach isn't a breakfast food, but according to this store, it very much is. Mmm, tasty burning flavor. Now, all jokes aside, don't ever, ever drink bleach, no matter what TikTok tells you. Someone in this store was clearly moving the stock around, but wasn't able to rename the section thanks to the gargantuan letters being a permanent fixture on that back wall. Uh, I think I'll stick with Pop-Tarts. Thanks. Okay, we made it to the end. And I only had a handful of mental breakdowns along the way. Progress. Which of these jobs done wrong did you find the funniest? And which did you find the most infuriating? Let me know down in the comments below, and thanks for watching.